Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can preload a script but delay its execution. This can be helpful when in our web page we want to load a script but not run it until the time is right or when the script is really needed. Preloading the script will make sure that the user will not have to wait for the browser to download the script when it is actually needed. To make this happen, all we need to do is to use the preload rel attribute value of link element. We can preload the script and then later create a script element to add the preloaded script to the browser. Let's now see how it can be done. This here is index.html file and I'm going to first add some HTML to it. And then we need to create a script file. Let's just call it script.js and I'm also going to add some code to it to log a message to the console to indicate that the script has been loaded and then to load the script from the index.html page all we need to do is create a script element and then in the src attributes value we need to provide its name which is script.js and now let's first run this page to see if the message is being printed or not so this is the web page running in the browser and the script loaded message is being printed in the console. So over here, the script is being executed immediately after it has been loaded by the browser. To defer the script execution to a point later in time, what we need to do is first we need to preload the script and then conditionally add it to the document so that it can be executed. The condition can be anything like it can be an event or any other user action. So to preload this script and defer its execution, the first thing that I'm going to do is comment out this line of code for the script element and then let's add a script element to the body. And now the first thing which we need to do is to create a link element. So where link el equals to document dot create element. And now let's just provide the name of the element which is link and now we need to set some attribute values so link el dot href so href is the um, the url of the script so this is going to be script.js and link el dot we need to set the as attribute or as properties value this is going to be script we need to set this properties value because we are preloading the script and whenever we are preloading any resource using the link element then we need to provide the value of as attribute for the browser so that it can figure out the prioritization queue of all the resources which are being preloaded and the last attribute value we need to provide is the rel attribute and this is going to be the value preload which will indicate that this resource is required to be preloaded by the browser and finally we can add this element to the head of the document so document.head.append child and then link el so now let's run this code and see if the script is being preloaded by the document or not so let's go to the network and let's refresh the page again so you can see here that the script.js is being loaded by the browser but it is not being executed over here and there is a warning that the script was preloaded but it was not used within a few seconds. This warning will always show up whenever the preloaded script will not be used within a few seconds of it being loaded by the browser. So now it is time to execute the script after a little while by adding it into a script element and then into the body of the document. So the first thing which I will do is I will create a function and let's just call it load script and then let's write a set timeout function and in the set timeout i am going to provide the name of the load script function and this will be called after let's say 10 seconds now in the load script we need to create a script element so where script el equals to document dot create element and then let's provide the name of the element which is script and then we are going to provide the src properties value 
which is again a script.js like above and then we can append this script element inside the document's body so append child and then script el so the idea behind this code is after the script has been loaded by the browser then we can create a script element and set its source as the script which we have already preloaded and then when we will append this script element as a child of the document's body then the browser will execute the script's contents so let's now see if this code is working correctly or not so i'm just going to refresh this page so the warning message is displayed because this script is loaded but not used and then there is the message script loaded after a few seconds so in the network too the script.js has been loaded so now you can see that the script is being loaded but its execution has been deferred to a point in the future and that is how you can defer a script's execution to a point later in time using the preload feature of the browser so that's all that this video has to offer you guys if you have any questions then feel free to use the comments area to ask them and also if you think that you like this video and you find this helpful for you then please don't be shy and place a like on this video and also subscribe to this channel doing that will make sure that you will always be the first to know about latest video updates i will see you in the next one till then have a great day